Hi everyone, this is Prashant and you are on my channel Inspire with Prashant. Welcome to Vocab Web Series 5. Well, we can't stop here. We have made 4 Vocab Web Series and everybody seems to like it and they are asking for more and more. Few of the words that I am going to discuss today are super interesting words which will help you not only on daily basis but also from various entrance exam perspective, particularly GRE and SAT sort of exam. So let's get started without a delay. And before I do that, I humbly request you to like, subscribe, share, and press the bell icon so that you remain updated with the you know coming videos. Let's get started. Today's first word is charlatan right you know it's a, one of my all time favorite words and we know there are people who fake their knowledge and they don't have such kind of people who are pretenders of knowledge right chahe hum agar hindi mein bole to jhola chhap doctors jo hote hain right those are charlatans so anybody who who is a pretender of knowledge is a charlatan and very important to remember a word like quack, very important to remember a word like imposter and very important to remember a word like mount bank. Ye words yaad kar lijiye, ye sab un logo ke jo kuch pretend karte hai kisi tarhe ke knowledge hune ka aur aapko deceive kar dete hai, right? Quack ka matlab hi hota hai quackery, quackery is false knowledge. एक अच्छे एजुकेशन सिस्टम का सबसे बड़ा फेरी क्या होता है क्वैकरी वी सो ऑल द स्कैंडल्स राइट वेयर यू नो यू नो डॉक्टर्स दे वर अटेंडेड द कॉलेज एंड दे बिकेम डॉक्टर्स दैट्स अ क्लासिक एग्जांपल ऑफ क्वैकरी परसिस्टिंग इन इंडियन एजुकेशन सिस्टम सो गाइस क्वैक्स इंपोस्टर्स शार्लटन्स एंड माउंट बैंक कॉल देम एज प्रिटेंडर्स ऑफ नॉलेज स्पेसिफिकली इंपोस्टर इज अ सॉर्ट ऑफ अ प्रिटेंडर who would actually deceive you by pretending, maybe by pretending his uh, fake identity, which is the commonest of usage for imposter. Let's continue. I hope you understand the concept of pretenders of knowledge. Charlton Quack, imposter, Mount Bank, right? My next word is another favorite word, chauvinist. We keep hearing these words, male chauvinism, right? Or female chauvinism, right? Chauvinism is a concept where let's say you are not only devoted but you are blindly devoted to that idea it may be related to uh, political agenda it may be related to anything so agar tum kehte ho ki tum male chauvinist ho so you will say that males are always superior than females right so we know that you know unfortunately we are still a society of male chauvinistic people right so chauvinism zingoism or zingoistic and then there is a wonderful word, fanatic. All these words are extreme. These are extremist in terms of when they attach to any idea or political party or let's say even the nationality when it comes to nationality or country, their, their devotion is blind, right? So extreme devotion or blind devotion, uh, that's what makes you a chauvinist, that's what makes you a zingoist and that's what makes you a fanatic. Right, so wonderful concept. We have been talking about this word, right, zeal. So we know that people are, you know, when you are devoted to anything, you are zealot, right. But this is an extreme degree of zealots, right. So these are chauvinistic people, these are zingoistic. Zingoistic is related to military or the country, right. And fanatic is one of the very basic words. We know how football fans are in England, right? When it comes to the way they support their clubs, they are very fanatic about it, right? So fanatic, singostic, chauvinistic. I hope you got the idea of blind devotion, blind support, right? Uh, to something. One of my all-time favorite words, checkered. If I say, you know, I wish that you never have a checkered career rather than it should always be up, up and up. So, checkered is marked by changes in fortune. The basic concept relates to fortune, right? Of course, checkered is anything which is, you know, marked by shifts and changes and flips and flops, right? But checkered, I want you to remember as marked by changes in fortune. 
जैसे बहुत एक खूबसूरत वर्ड है हम कहते हैं विसिसिट्यूड ऑफ टाइम बोलते हैं ना तो अगर आपका करियर कभी ऊपर कभी नीचे फिर बदला फिर कहीं और गया तो यू कैन से आई हैड चेकर्ड करियर राइट सो चेकर्ड एंड विसिसिट्यूड ऑफ टाइम इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट यूज इट्स ऑल अबाउट मार्क बाई चेंजेस नाउ टू मेक इट परफेक्ट मार्क बाई चेंजेस इन फॉर्च्यून जब फॉर्च्यून की बात आती है लक की बात आती है तो आई टेंड टू एड वन मोर वर्ड विच इज फ्लूक फ्लूक का मतलब होता है आपका लक चल गया स्ट्राइक ऑफ फॉर्च्यून बेसिक वर्ड देन यू हैव दिस वंडरफुल वर्ड सेरेंडिपिटी Serendipity means you were doing something and by luck you found something else. So all, all lot of medi medicine discoveries like penicillin or maybe the way rubber was invented, right? These were all serendipities. Geographical serendipity, Columbus. Ja kahin aur rahe the aur koi dusra desh mil gaya. So serendipity is nothing but it's a it's again a strike of fortune so you were doing something and you found something else and it was something very lucky and fluke is a strike of fortune checkered and vicissitudes means marked by changes in fortune and anything lucky or related to luck is fortuitous guys fortune category the words which relate to luck right there are a lot of other words but these are some of the words that i wanted to know as far as this web series is uh, concerned clemency right guys have you heard of this word canada's weather is very inclement now you must have got it clemency it 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 means it being mild it means that it is all about being lenient so when it comes to you know leniency when it comes to being mild and opposite would be what when the weather is very inclement it's very harsh or severe so you say that he is a clement judge he may not give you a very harsh punishment so i now i think you will understand what i'm talking about mercy and that is why merciless might be cruel in clement might be cruel or harsh so this is for harsh or cruel because it's all about mercy it's about being kind it's about being compassionate it's about not being harsh or severe right so that is why very important word clemency being being mild and leniency he is a lenient instructor he may not punish you harshly so remember this word clemency mercy is the captain word which will give you the entire idea being lenient being mild being kind is also the usage and with mercy if if somebody is merciless harsh or cruel inclement going in the same direction right dilettant have you heard of this word dilettant so you want to do something but you don't want to possess the real knowledge of it you become an aimless follower of art or any field and that is why two top words that i want you to remember here is dilettant and dabbler if you're a dabbler then you're just splashing around you're not really trying to get the real knowledge of that thing or that particular craft or art you are just an aimless follower so uh, you know let's say if you take lot of courses and you just you know gone through all of them but you don't possess the real knowledge of anyone you will be a dabbler of your course right so when it comes to two words which is dabbler and dilettant aimless follower of art or anything you never become an expert because you don't possess the real knowledge right so two words not many words in this particular family oh yes this affected now you have been affected badly affect is a very general word which you have been using the way affect the word has been used but disaffected jaise aap kehna chahte hain ki you know mujhe koi fark nahi padta ya you know i remain unaffected that is okay you know uh, his feelings you know don't affect me i remain unaffected ye disaffected hai aur disaffected relates to being dissatisfied maybe let's say from a government or the current government and that results into disloyalty 
So write down this affected from the, this is what GRE does to you. These are pure GRE type of words. So disaffected is dissatisfaction and it becomes, you know, it leads to disloyalty. Very disgruntled. Let's say, let's say, you know, we saw that uh, in Japan, uh, you know, the prime minister, the, the, the ex-prime minister Shinzo Abe was shot. And that person, that whole fellow who shot him, he was not happy with the government. And that's what he was disaffected. So it is what dissatisfied and disloyal, because the I, the idea of dissatisfaction is not with like let's say the family. No, no, no. Dissatisfaction is what is happening in the country, and it, that leads to disloyalty. So remember, disaffected as a word. It's an individual word. There are so many words which are like similar, which which gives us a lot of flavor of disloyalty, like renegade and apostate. Because all these, oh, these both words are also related to being disloyal. But primarily, if there is a betrayal, betrayal would is likely to come from a disaffected person, right? So remember that. Disheveled. Disheveled is uh, one of the basic references is very messy. So something which you call, I never want to go to his house because his house is very untidy. So we know something which is very shaggy, right? We know that something which is slow only. We know something which is unkempt. So it's all about those words. Aapko ye word to pata hi hoga because tidy is something neat and trim. This is exactly opposite. The things are messy. The, th the things are completely in a disheveled, you know, room was completely disheveled. That means it was not neat and trim. Like what happens in a, let's say, boys hostel. The rooms of boys hostel are always disheveled, untidy, slowly, unkempt, uh, shaggy, shabby, right? And of course, messy is the one of the basic reference words, right? So, today's last word that we did was disheveled. This, this particular web series last word was disheveled and just recall all the words that we did today. See this video again and again and it would have the tagging, you know, from their captain words in terms of their captain words and you will again get some very important words for any of the entrance examination where English is a part of, you know, that particular exam. Vocab web series 5. I think I'm going to continue to make these vocab web series because you tend to like them. And again, a final request, please like, subscribe and share to this channel if you like this video. And happy vocab building to all of you. And thank you for supporting us. Thank you.